All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Annie Cade. My name is Annie, as always, and today we're playing a brand new game. Like this j game just came out like a couple days ago, and uh, I did a lot of playing of it, and I actually recorded a, uh, a session of Annie Cade before this, uh, playing this new game, Honeycam Studio. It's uh, not really a sequel, but more of like a just kind of a uh, I believe they call it a lateral sequel where it's not like a true sequel to Honey Pop, but it's more like in the same vein and using the same characters and stuff like that. So whatever, it's the new game by the Honey Pot Studio design team, development studio, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they released this new game called Honey Cam Studio, utilizing a lot of the characters from their wildly successful debut, Honey Pop, which I've played on this channel before. So uh, in this game, instead of being like a dating simulator like Honey Pop was, Honeycam Studios is more like uh, in the line of like a roller coaster tycoon. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it, just because you know you got to uh, balance out a lot of stuff, and it's really, uh, really an interesting game. I'm sure there's other games that are, you know, like it as far as like the mechanics and stuff like that, which we'll get into here in this playthrough. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so. Um, I stayed up late at night last night to like 3 in the morning and I had to get up at like 7 to go to school. So I am dead ass fucking tired right now. And uh, I tried recording uh, a series of Andicate episodes with this game, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't like the quality of them. I w wasn't really uh, talking a whole lot. I was more invested in the game. And I might say like one or two things every once in a while. So... Um, <laughs> I figured I'd uh, start over again, and I'm gonna try to push this episode out a bit uh, sooner uh, than my usual episodes. So it might even be like an extra episode, as opposed to my normal uh, Andy Cade run. But uh, we'll get to that later. Anyway, let's uh, start a new game. And from what you can see here, you can see my abject failure. Three times I've failed so far. Pretty spectacularly, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so, this is the current game that I'm running. Doing pretty good, pretty good. But, uh, we're gonna start a new game here. Yeah. There's Nikki. Nikki Nax! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hey! I guess the legends are true. You do exist. Alright, so Q is back, as well as pretty much everybody. But they've been redesigned. They're designed by somebody different, as you can... Obviously tell and like all the girls seem to have the little hearts for pupils in their eyes now It's kind of a, a neat little concept. So uh, for the first episode, we're gonna be going through the tutorial and stuff like that. So uh, expect a lot of uh, Dialogue here not so much here at least for a while. So let's begin Could you do me a huge favor and show up even later next time? That'd be sweet You got it boss All right, look if you want this gig, you gotta listen to directions. We both know I'm doing you a solid by letting you manage my girls. Oh shit. Madam Q in the house, everybody. I mean, let's keep it 100 here. This is the closest you're getting to female interaction right now. Ah, oh, You're killing me! That should be payment enough. And it will be, since that's the only payment you're getting. But I'm gonna afford my ramen noodles! And my animus and my mongers! All, all on Crunchyroll.com for the low, low price of six ninety five a month. Let's not waste any more time. I'll start you out with one of our fresh prospects. Which one of these girls catches your eye? Oh shit! It's like Pokemon. We get to pick one. All right. So we got Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. Through my last couple playthroughs, I've had, even though I love Kiana and she is waifu number one, I've had the most success starting off with Nikki. Because you got them tiggle bitties and them Megane glasses. And also, this is another thing. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to break down the mechanics here. Each girl, and this will be explained later, but I just want to kind of give you guys a little preview of what's to come. Uh, each girl has starts off with two uh, fetishes that are marketed to fans. So in Tiffany's case, she is a teen and she is fit. So, and Nikki, she got them tiggle bitties, Megane, as uh, established earlier. Then Kiana, 
is Latina Heat, and she got that thick ass. So, that will come to play later when we uh, look through demographics and stuff like that. It's a lot like YouTube, actually. And uh, I think this is actually a really interesting game for uh, people who are thinking about starting up a YouTube channel. Not necessarily a Let's Play channel, but just like YouTube, because it, it, it uh, allows you to focus on how to read demographics, how to read analytics and stuff like that, how to properly promote stuff, and to see what works and what doesn't work, and uh, stuff like that. It's really, really cool. And then another thing, so some girls, and you know, this is kind of the base model here. So um, starting off, you're gonna have like 10 fans that they immediately come with when you hire them. Now, uh, in later, uh, as you recruit more girls, the, the fan counts will differ, and they'll probably just raise up depending on who it is. And uh, that'll bring in more fans. And then pay, pay rate starts at a dollar an hour. I know, slave wages, right? <laughs> but uh, again, as you recruit more girls, uh, depending on what their talents and all that kind of stuff is, uh, you, get, you have to pay a little more. And then some of them drink and some of them smoke. And thankfully the starters here, the starter Pokemons, uh, they never drink or smoke, and drinking and smoking, now the mechanics behind this is, now some girls are like really super talented or really super fashionable, so they either bring in a whole lot of fans, or you'll make more money per cam show, but some of their vices require a little bit of extra payment, so you have to send a girl to either the liquor store or the uh, department store, the convenience store, to uh, pick up a some smokes and some drinks, which uh, leaves them not, you know, working in the camp studio making you them muns or whatever. So you just have to keep that in mind. So, uh, and this will be explained later, so anyway, let's recruit Nikki! Good call. That's kind of who I was thinking too, but I'd say that no matter who you picked. <laughs> Man. I love Q's voice actress. I recently followed her on Twitter. Jack Hernandez. Short for Jacqueline, of course. I mean, you think a, a guy would sound like that? Seriously. Now that we've recruited her, we have to employ her. Otherwise, it's like, what was the point? I know, man. Really. It's pretty easy, though. I'll show you. Break open the girls' section for me, will ya? Hmm. <clears throat> Last time I broke open a girls' section, I got hauled over to the police station. All you gotta do to employ her is drag her from the girls' section to the open position on the studio bar to the right. Okay, put my put my warder down. Ah, I'm trying to keep my throat clean so I'm not all gross sounding. Okay, <clears throat> so we drag Nikki over here. What did I say? Easy, right? Why don't we give our new employee a try? Let's have her do a quick cam show. Magic hands. All right, cool. Drag her from the studio bar to the building in the southwest corner of the city. That's the cam studio. There you go. All right. So we drag Nikki over here, which is the cam studio. Sweet. The cash she earns from camming gets deposited at the studio, so you have to pull it out if you want to spend it. Hey, that's what she said. To collect her earnings, you got to click up on that building. Go ahead. You do the work. I'll watch. <laughs> Aren't you just productive? So you just click there and... Clearly this girl is new to camming. I hey. mean, look, it's a start, I guess. Hey man, don't knock the five dollars. That's twice the amount I've made in a month of YouTubing. Just saying. But if we're gonna make it in this industry, we need fans. You know, regulars. Desperate dudes with disposable income. Hey. We'll have to release some dirty photo sets for free. I don't like free, but we need the exposure. Let's have a legit shoot done. Drag her over to the photo studio, okay? All right, so the idea behind... Similar to cam shows, we have to collect the new fans she attracted. So, do that. Okay, before I do this, um, <clears throat> so the idea behind fans is obviously the more fans that you have doing these photo shoots, the more that will be watching when you do the cam shows, which gives you the opportunity to make more money because more people are watching. So again, it's kind of a an allegory to YouTube, I think. So this is a pretty good, like, how do I make it on YouTube kind of video. 
And we'll get them fans. <laughs> Alright, so here's the deal with fans. Each new fan we get has a preference. Everybody has their kink, their fetish. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sure I don't need to explain what a fetish is to a sick freak like you, but it's important to go over anyway. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. Crack open the fan section real quick. Hey. Okay. Here you can see how many fans we have broken down by fetish. Looks like she had a small following before we hired her. Yep. And that's what I was saying earlier about demographics and stuff like that. So, since Nikki's our only girl and her two kinks are her huge titties and them glasses, um, that's how the demographic is broken down. And uh, she has nine fans for her uh, two assets and then six fans for her glasses. And also, if you get girls that have the same fetishes, They'll also show up on this side as well. So the idea is to get, <clears throat> you know, a lot of girls with uh, fairly consistent uh, fetishes so that way um, you get more fans that way. Fans of a particular fetish will only watch girls who can satisfy that desire. People are picky about their porn like that. Yeah, I, I just said that. So if you had a bunch of dudes who were into black chicks, that's not going to help an Asian girl at all. You get it? It's true. It's true. When you send a girl to do a photo shoot, she's only going to interest new fans who match one of her fetishes. You can always see which fetishes a girl satisfies by checking her profile. I'll show you. Click her face on the studio bar. Alrighty. See? Her fetishes are listed right here. Each girl will naturally support a couple by default. Her current fan count, which is based on her fetishes, is down here. The more fans she has, the more money she'll earn camming. It's pretty neat, Let's huh? Let's have our girl do another cam show. Only this time, I'm gonna show you a special technique I call finger blasting. <laughs> finger blasting! <laughs> Learn this in the Navy. If you click on a building while a girl is there, it'll rush the activity so it's completed faster. It's pretty useful. We'll kick off a show as normal. Drop her off at the cam studio for a hot minute. All right, finger fucking away. Now click the shit out of that building. Bam! Okay, Look at that. Yeah. That's a damn fine clicking. You can also click and hold if you want. Mm. Should have stretched before I did this. I'm a little, uh, not quite warmed up yet, but uh, we'll get to it. Let's give that a try. Okay. Collect the cash from the cam studio by clicking and holding down on the building. Okay, and you can also hold too, which is what that I prefer to do. So good. But we're not gonna make that fuck you money with only one <laughs> to show off. Fuck you! Pay me with this money. Anyway, so I prefer to hold it as opposed to like finger fuck it, because you know it requires a lot less uh, energy, and you know you gotta learn to be more uh, economical with your energy, more conservative as you're drifting from building to building as the game progresses. So. There's a model agency in town that's bound to be ripe with hotties looking to make a quick buck. All right. If you send one of our girls in there undercover to shill our studio, I'm sure she can line up some solid prospects. Yeah, so that's the idea. That's how you go in and get new girls. It's better than you going in there and creeping them out. I'm not saying you're busted, but you're not winning any pageants. My mommy says I'm pretty. Oh. And we ain't employing shit unless we open up a new position. We gotta invest in growing the business, you know? All right. Here, why don't you pull up the invest section and I'll show you. Okay. There are a lot of aspects of business you can invest in here to expand operations, improve functions, and maximize revenue. See, this is really, really neat. In order to employ a second girl, we need to invest in staffing, which we just happen to be able to afford. Imagine that. I know, right? I'm too important to click things, <laughs> so go ahead and invest in staffing for me, will ya? Okay. So, um, even though Q is blocking the majority of this stuff, I'll kind of give you a rundown of what's available. So, staffing, obviously, allows you to have more girls available to be employed at once. Then accounting, you know, you receive 
extra money per uh, or from the cam studio whenever a girl you know uses it and then the capacity you can have more girls in a building at once and then inventory you can get accessories which you can also use to uh, gain extra abilities or fetishes which come to play a bit later productivity um, we'll get into a bit later and same with automation so automation actually if you guys uh, have played Slime Rancher you know that uh, you can upgrade your uh, pens to have like automated automatic plort collectors and stuff like that it's kind of the same thing come on oh right <laughs> all right moving up in the world yeah you know, boy when you recruit a new girl just drag her to this open position to employ her okay and there you have it those are most of the basics of running a cam girl operation. Easy. But don't forget, you work for me, and I expect results. I want to see him fast too. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> All right, Madam Q, laying down the rules, son. I'll give you three weeks to get as many new fans as possible. That's twenty-one days. Anybody can do that. Okay. The more fans, the better. <laughs> there are some dope ass dick trophies in it for you too. I made them myself. Uh, clearly, shit, son. I don't know if we had to censor that or not. So remember, 21 days. The clock is ticking, so don't be dicking around on me. <laughs> I want that big money, boy. <laughs> oh, this. What am I playing? I highly recommend starting out by recruiting and employing more girls because one or two ain't gonna cut it. That's true. Now get back to work. I'll check in later to go over some other stuff with you. Mm. Peace. All right. Cool. So, uh, drag old Nicky Nax over here. All right then. Oh shit! I forgot something. <sighs> ah shit! We're not running off slave labor here. We do have to pay these lovely ladies. Of course. I'll show you how we do payroll. Do me a favor and open up the books real quick. All right. The payroll section shows a list of employed girls, what their current hourly rates are, and what we owe them. Okay, and this is actually really important because if you guys remember all those game overs that I had at the beginning of this episode, the reason for that was because I wasn't paying attention to this shit. This shit right here. So, be sure to pay attention to that. If we have the cash on hand, you can process the payroll at any time by clicking this pay button. Nice. But be careful because the payroll will automatically process every night at midnight, even if we can't afford it. So I'm just saying, keep an eye on that. The last thing I need right now is you knocking us into debt. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, and pro tip, don't forget to invest in inventory. Just trust me. It's not my first time around the block. <laughs> choo 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 pro tip. All right. Okay. Cool. Anyway, we'll just kind of expedite this process here. How'd I do? By the way, when you're looking at new girls to recruit, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Okay. The music note represents her talent level. The higher her talent level is, the more money she earns per fan while camming. See, that's really important. That hashtag talent. The little bow represents her style level. The higher her style level is, the more fans she will attract with photo shoots. But higher talent and style levels do come at a cost, as she will usually demand a higher hourly rate. Mm hmm So, you better be sure we can afford to take her on board before you go off hiring a total babe. If you want more details, you can hover over the music note and little bow icons. Last thing, this fan count here is how many of our existing fans would be interested in her, based on her fetishes. Okay. Alrighty, so, something that I've learned from my previous playthroughs is starting off, it's best to uh, get the starters. So that was Nikki, Tiffany, and Kiana because the others uh, will consume alcohol and smoke, and that's another thing you have to keep an eye on. So you can get into those later, 
And plus, like, if you're kind of worried, you know, it's just only like a 1-1 one, one kind of eh right now, you can build them up, which uh, Q will explain here in a sec. So, I'm gonna recruit Tiffany. Ooh. And then we're gonna go to Goyles. Drag her there. This'll be fun. Yeah. You're my little buddy. All right. So, I'm just waiting for Q to pop up. Anyway, all right, so I'll uh, go to the books. Okay, so I gotta pay them all like four bucks eventually, so uh, let's drag them into sure, Photo Studio, Photo <laughs> Studio, kind of. Yeah, Alrighty. Then we're gonna sure thing. slam them in the cam studio. All right, then. Anything else? All right, get the muns. Good, good, good. All right. We're doing pretty good. So, now that we've had some photo shoots, let's check out the fans here. So, we got a lot more fans of the fits than the tits. So, we're going to um, just to photo studio, photo studio. So, basically, uh, what we're going to do for a little bit is kind of cycle photo Not studio to cam studio. So, that way we can attract fans. And then uh, bring in the muns. All right then. That's that. Okay. Done with that. All right. And then we're just gonna kind of keep on Give cycling through Leave it to me. until the next day, because I, I just wanna. Anything else? Oh, jeez. Uh, just go back to the shit. Right to the cam studio, and then. Sure, why not? That's that. And then once we get some more muns, done with that. Uh, we'll go ahead and do some more upgrading. Leave it to me. Which right, one of the big mistakes that I did when I was doing this was I upgraded the girls a little too early rather than upgraded or invested sure, in things. Why not? So what I would recommend is to invest first and then employ Done more girls, that. and then do more of the upgrady stuff as well. So, also, at midnight, you'll see, there you go, negative 21 is the payroll. So, now that we've done this little cycling bit, we're going to uh, cycle All them into right the then. photo studio a little bit. Leave it to me. Gonna work on some investments, because we got a little bit of revenue going here. So, <clears throat> first we're gonna do accounting, which means we'll get a little more money uh, per cam show, which is nice. And then we're going to uh, use inventory so we can uh, use accessories. Okay, sweet. Now that you've invested oh. something into inventory, let me explain how accessories work. Okay, here we go. This is the adult shop. If you send a girl here to browse around for a bit, you'll be able to pick up a new accessory. Alrighty. The adult shop carries all kinds of messed up shit. <laughs> Sex toys, drugs, and some weird ass, random ass stuff. Just like a real adult shop. It's a candy land. When you get a new accessory, it'll be chilling right here. This is our accessory storage area. From here, you can drag an accessory onto any currently employed girl on the studio bar. You can see which accessories a girl has at any time by checking out her profile. Accessories do all kinds of crazy shit. Each one has a unique effect, and they can be insanely useful. That's true. All right, so we got a little bit of uh, ground up smarties, I see. They pronounce it Coke. Huh. All right, so this only lasts 24 hours. So, um, we'll just give Nikki some cocaine. Appreciate it. Yeah, I boss. <laughs> okay. How'd I do? All done. Alrighty. So now, Okey we're gonna slam him into the cam studio. I'm a getting bit. the feeling that one of our girls is starting to get kind of stressed out. Must That's be from all the coke. Problem. It's from all the coke, man, I'm telling you. Each time a girl does an activity, it stresses her out a bit. The amount of stress is based on how much time the activity takes. Oh, I, I didn't know that. If a girl reaches 100% stress, <laughs> that's it. 
She won't do anything until she chills the fuck out. Fortunately, there's a relaxing day spa in town. You can <laughs> drop a girl off here at any time and her stress will melt away. Nice. The more stressed out she is, the longer she'll spend at the spa. She'll always leave stress free though. That's nice. Yeah, so you don't want to uh, work them to Done death. With that. Cause then stuff Anything like that else? happens. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> next up. Okay, yeah. So 50, I usually do it around like 80%, 75, 80%. That's when I, you know, try to cycle them out. So, we're going to sure thing. Photo Studio, Photo Studio. Give it a shot. Nikki's just flying on all that coke, Desio. That's that. All right. So, what we need to do here? 59%. All right, not then. bad. 48%. Not bad. Okie dokie. Damn. How'd I do? Nice. All right. Need to go. Give it a shot. Yeah. See if she can beat out. Not too bad. All done. All righty. In some months. Good, good, good. Let's check out the books here. All right. So fourteen dollars for payroll. It's good. All right. So we'll slam them back into the cam it. studio. Put you in the All spa. Right. And then we're going to invest in. Now yeah, this will come in handy later. I just want to invest in it now so I don't have to worry about it. It's kind of like, uh, like I said earlier, it's like Plort Collectors and Slime Rancher, if you guys have ever played that game. So we got that. And then, uh, let's see. Community, that's another good one. And then cash earned from camp shows increased by 25%. Uh huh. So I think we're going to need to get this first. And then. We're gonna have to uh, do it like that. That's that. All right, good, good, good. How stressed are you? 64, not bad. Okie dokie. Okay. <laughs> so she can beat out Nikki. Can you win? Oh yes, oh, yeah. Done with that. All right, she is stress-free, Desio. Put you Leave in the day spa. Me. Then we're gonna. Slap you sure, in the cam studio, not? okay. How'd I do? Not bad, all right, cool. Now, we got some extra muns. We're going to invest in a community. So we, we get more fans per uh, photo shoot. All right then. So, not too bad. All right, I could do better, but uh, go ahead and sure. Why not? Camp studio. Done with that. And we got some more months. That's always a plus. Then I think we're gonna go. All right then. To the adult shop, see if we can pick up some things. How'd I do? Let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, like I said earlier. Some accessories that you can get here also support um, some fan fetishes like this. So, you know, and this is kind of, you know, what we have from the girls that we already have here. But if you go to promos, which we'll get into later, you can base it on. Uh... That's that. Oh, right, good, good. Okay, so I think what we need to do. Suppresses the urge to smoke. That's good for smokers, but we're good. A subscribe pillow! Nice! You know, you may have as much pay. Okay. Alright, I think what we'll do, we'll get the subscribe pillow. And then, since it's near the end of the, end of the day here, I think we're gonna call it an episode for now. So yeah! This is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thank you guys for tuning in to the debut episode of Honey Cam Studios here in Andy Cade and for watching my other stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.